Erickson. I'm the author of Through the Withering Storm and Inching Back to Sane. And this is my fourth blog in a series in which I'm going to try and talk to you a little bit about different things that people are curious about about mental illness. One of the big things about mental illness people are curious about is um, are people with mental illnesses uh, more prone to uh, become violent? Uh, of course this is not true. People with mental illnesses are no more violent than the general population. Uh, there is also a question that um, I wanted to get into in a little more depth. Uh, was uh, I was asked recently, uh, does taking medication take away all of my symptoms? And the fact is, um, in a lot of cases, medication helps a lot, although it does have, have side effects. Almost all medications have side effects, and some of them can be quite serious. The sad fact is, is that not all your uh, symptoms can be managed just with medication. It's really important to find a good therapist, and um, one of the most effective ways of dealing with some of these side effects is to go through cognitive behavioral therapy. Or CBT. Um, one of the things I think is important to do uh, when you're experiencing some, some of these side effects, for example, I take a, a mood stabilizer and yet quite often I find myself uh, unable to sleep, uh, having, having sort of a mildly racing thoughts, having, having different ideas going around in my head, and um, sometimes I do use medication to treat this. Uh, but I don't like to rely on it because you can get addicted to medication and build, develop a tolerance and then nothing will help you sleep and you'll just spend a week without sleeping and be unable to function. And um, so definitely uh, not all symptoms are controlled uh, from a mental illness just by medication. Uh, some of the things you can do is just try to uh, write down and plan out some of the things that may trigger you to uh, to have some of your symptoms and um, write down some things that can help you. For example, one of the best ways uh, I can calm myself down if I'm in uh, a mild manic state is to take a hot bath and just relax. And uh, and then after the bath, just to go and lay in bed and just, you know, just let my worries slip away. And um, hopefully as you get to know yourself better uh, and, and how to deal with your illness and your medications, that you'll develop uh, different methods of doing this too.